Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on Hamming code. Okay, so encode the data or message bits 0, 0, 1, 1 into the 7 bit even parity Hamming code. In the previous video, we are already discussing about what is Hamming code, how to detect the single bit error in the Hamming code, how to calculate the parity bits, how many number of parity bits are required and how to correct the error after detecting the error in the given message by using Hamming code. These are the points we are discussed in the previous video. Now we have to concentrate on this example problem in this video. Here the given message is equal to 0, 0, 1, 1. How many number of bits are there? 1, 2, 3. Therefore, number of message bits m is equal to 4. Okay. Next, number of parity bits required is calculated by using the following formula that is 2 power p greater than or equal to m plus p plus 1. Here 2 power p greater than or equal to m value is 4. 4 plus p plus 1. So to satisfy this condition what is the value of p we are getting. So suppose P is equal to 3, we are taking, P is equal to 3, we are taking, then 2 power 3 greater than or equal to 4 plus 3 plus 1. So that is 8 greater than or equal to 8. So that is true. So the number of parity bits is equal to P is equal to 3. Okay. Total number of bits is equal to number of message bits plus number of parity bits. That is message bits is 4 and parity bits is 3. That is total number of bits is 7. Now these 7 bits can be represented in this form. This is LSB and this is MSB. And parity bits are located at the bit positions of powers of 2. That is 2 power 0 position, parity bit 1 is there. 2 power 1 position, parity bit 2 is there. 2 power 2 position, parity bit 3 is there. Uh, total number of bits is 7. Among the 7 bits, 3 bits are located as parity bits. The remaining 4 bits can be located as message bits. So therefore, total number of message bits plus parity bits is equal to 7. Now, message bit value, so 0, 0, 1, 1. So, this is LSB and this is MSB. So, here MSB bit value 0, next one 0, next one 1, next one 1. Now, we have to calculate the parity bit values P1, P2 and P3 values. Okay. Now P1, now calculating the parity bit value, so P1, so we have to calculate the parity bit value P1 at 2 power 0. So now we have to consider the 2 power 0 column, so where the 1 is there, here 1 is there at 1 position and 3rd position and 5th position and 7th position. 1, 3, 5, 7. So that is equal to at 1th position, what is there? Here P1 is there. Next, at 3rd position, here 1 is there. At 5th position, here uh, 1 is there. At 7th position, here 0 is there. So now, here we are send this message with even parity. Okay. But here how many number of ones are there? There are two ones are there. It is already even parity. So now by concluding that here P1 is equal to 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. So here P1 is equal to 0 to maintain the even parity. 
Now, how many number of ones are there? Two ones are there. Two is the even parity by considering the P1 is equal to G2. Okay. So, therefore, P1 is equal to parity bit 1 is equal to 0. Now, consider the P2. Here, P2 is there at 2 power 1 position. Now, consider the 2 power 1 column. In the 2 power 1 column, where the 1 is there? So, that is second position, third position, sixth position and seventh position. What are the corresponding values are there? At second position, here P2 is there. At third position, what is the value? 1 is there. At sixth position, what is the value? 0 is there. At the seventh position, what is the value? 0 is there. Here, this message is sent with even parity. Okay. So, here how many number of ones are there? Total number of ones is equal to 1. So, it is a odd parity. To become the even parity, so now P2 is equal to 1. By placing 1 at P2 position, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, now it becomes a even parity. So, therefore, uh, P2 is equal to a 0. Okay. Because the message is sent with even parity, total number of ones is even number. To become the even parity, P2 is equal to 1. So, now next parity bit P3. So, P3 is there at 2 power 2 position. Now, consider the 2 power 2 column where the 1 is there at 4th position. 5th position, 6th position and 7th position. Now what are the values are there? At 4th position here P3 is there. Next at 5th position 1 is there. At 6th position 0 is there. At 7th position 0 is there. Okay. How many number of 1's are there? Only single 1 is there. To Send this message with even parity. So, total number of 1s is equal to 1. To become the total number of 1s is equal to even. So, P3 value can be treated as uh, 1. Okay. So, therefore, if P3 value is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, therefore, total number of 1s is 2. 2 is the even number. So, therefore, uh, P3 is equal to one. Okay. Next. Error position is equal to by combining the P1, P2, P3 values. So, that is P3, uh, P2, uh, P1. So, that is equal to P3 value is uh, 1, P2 value is uh, 0 and P1 value is uh, 0. So, what is the decimal equivalent? So, that is 4. 4 base 10. So, therefore, error is located at 4th position. Error is located at 4th position. Okay. So, therefore, total message bits is equal to 0, 0, 1, P3 value is 1, P2, M1 value is 1 and P2 value 0 and P1 value is 0. The error is located at 4th position, this position. Okay. To correct this value, okay, we have to change the bit from a 1 to 0. After correcting, after correcting, the message bits are 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay. So, in this way, we have to solve the Hamming code example problem. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Divella Srinivasarao. Divella.
ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸರಾವ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು